what's up guys welcome to my channel once again in today's video i'll be talking about one of the video that has been trending of a girl that is alleged to be from one of the prominent families in jamaica the azan family an asian or a lebanese family and uh, in the video that she posted she posted in tiktok uh, it has been trending because it is like she was mocking jamaicans for the unfortunate happening of uh, hurricane beryl let's look at the video uh, first this is the video guys this is the video you can see the girl on tiktok sham azan posting uh, and with the caption clearly indicated she is going to board the private jet with her family members so you can see after posting this video, it went viral and uh, caused a lot of uproar from Jamaicans and other uh, parts of the world. She had to, uh, to do another video uh, begging for, for, for forgiveness and uh, this is the video. To people of Jamaica, my name is Samantha Zan, I'm 16 years old and I recently uploaded a TikTok that was so insensitive, hurtful and disrespectful. I truly am sorry from the bottom of my heart and I want to apologize for my actions and words and the pain that they have caused. I live in Florida and I was just in Jamaica for summer. I also want to make it clear that my family is not affiliated with any of the exam businesses in Jamaica or anywhere else. I realized that the video was so thoughtless not knowing the consequences or impacts that my words and actions could cause. For that, I'm so sorry. This situation has really taught me an important lesson about the power of words and the importance of respect. I truly am committed to learn from this mistake and I will educate myself and make sure it never happens again. I really hope you guys can forgive me and I want you to know that I truly am sorry and I meant every single thing I said in this video. So guys, you have seen uh, the videos. The first one is uh, uh, the video that she did and uh, it went viral. And uh, the second video is uh the apology that she made uh first let's let, let me uh, give you a background of the azan family the azan family is one of the richest family when you talk ab about the the billionaires the, uh, in jamaica you cannot uh, leave out the azan family they are among the top 21 richest families in jamaica uh they came to jamaica in the 1950s and uh, throughout the season they have been having generation wealth uh, they were Lebanon immigrants. So Lebanon is uh, in uh, Asia and uh, they own a lot of businesses, one of them being the famous uh, supermarket known as Megamart, which recently celebrated uh, its 20 years in operation. They are also the biggest produce distributors in the entire Jamaica. So uh, this recording coming from uh, a relative, an alleged relative to the uh, Azans, you, it's not a joke and you know Jamaicans don't joke around if you do anything silly to them or uh, uh, bring trouble to them they'll also bring trouble to you so uh, after this after recording this video the girl uh, uh, later apologized and in the apology it's like uh, it was written down it's like uh, just PR she's saying that she was uh, uh, flying from Florida to Jamaica as a tourist but in some of the comments that I'm going to uh, and some of the reactions of the Jamaicans that have especially compiled the videos I'll show you that there are some people claiming that she was she is a, a Jamaican and she has been recording videos in Jamaica prior to uh, this incident this incident it was only after this incident that uh, they had to do pr and clean up because people jamaicans had ganged up uh looking for all the azan businesses and they were talking of abstaining or boycotting all uh, their uh, chain of businesses and uh, i think this is what the the family has had to do to write this uh, apology and give her to deliver but even uh, though the girl yeah uh, she's a young she's a child she's she has uh added out that she's 16 years old but uh, uttering such kind of uh, 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 or, or writing such kind of caption is not good it shows uh what goes on in their family it shows uh, she has not been brought up uh, properly to, res to respect other people to respect other races this is very bad and you know 
it is not good for people to come all the way from other uh, places, whether Asia, whether uh, uh, whether you, uh, whichever part of the world, and uh, to come and and uh, and try to disrespect the locals. So this is not right, and it is disheartening. People have lost lives, especially during uh, such kind of pe uh, period where people are still uh, reeling from the pains. Uh, that has been experienced by the hurricane uh, burial. Going to, going to uh, a parish like St. Elizabeth, it was badly hit, and recently there's the, even uh, Shenshia, one of the dancehall uh, artists, was uh, in uh, the parish trying to uh, uh, do the charity. This is what the family should do instead of uh, uh, making that girl to post that video. I understand she did it maybe out of curiosity or just uh for fun but it's not good i hope she has learned her lesson and she won't do that again uh to the family the family should come out clean and uh, condemn it uh, the, the the azan the member of uh, the the, uh, the biggest member of the azan family should come out and uh, speak about it also i would like to tell jamaica sorry for that that is not good and uh you can leave your comments down below so that i can be able to know uh, what's your take? These uh, are some of the videos of um, uh, some of the reactors and content creators that have specially compiled on how they reacted to uh, this video. We know we just had Hurricane Burl that hit Jamaica. Now, one of the relatives of this big, successful family, Azan family, shows herself and other family members getting on a private jet leaving Florida. And this was her caption on her <coughs> post. Us coming back to Jamaica after abandoning it for the hurricane, then acting like it didn't do anything to the country. Jamaican, where's the outrage? Yeah, man, you know Azan are one of the big names. We talk about the 21 families in Jamaica. Yeah, man, the Azans are one of them names that when you hear it, you just think wealth and generational wealth. Anything pertaining to money, that is why you think when you hear the name Azan, right? I don't really mind the little video because I understand rich people are rich people and are rich people, them flex, them look away, so you know they're going to show off. But I think at the caption, at the caption back sitting, us coming back to Jamaica after abandoning jesus christ my lord of mercy that a some colonizer word you can't say abandon because when you hear that now you think white people um second class citizen jesus third world country yeah, it just don't look good for the optics lord of mercy no abandoning it for the hurricane and then acting lord of mercy no acting like it never do nothing to the country. <coughs> Let me just show read you some of the comments them because people never did like it at all. Some of the comments that that, that 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 were on social media, people were saying things such as Jesus Christ, this girl just bring down the whole entire family because of this entire saga. Let me just go and see if we can just get to the stuff them quick and fast. So somebody said uptown people act uptown people. Mm -mm. Let me just read it. Uptown people act like people hate them because of jealousy. The racism, the colorism, the absolute lack of empathy for anyone who doesn't look or speak a certain way. The classism and the conservative political takes. Oh gee, it's a mystery, I, I, I guess. LMAO. Another person said, who can't afford to run will... Oh, the Bujibantan ratted. Who can't afford to run will run. But what about those who can't? They will have to stay. Boy, in the words of Buju. Just go and tell you this now. Um, the Azans, them. I don't think they're going to have this. This was not a good PR move. Because people began to look for fear page. And then they <coughs> went on the Azans um, brand page. And started to leave comments. Talking about boycotting. And a cost them off. And a cost she off. And it just got to this high. Let me go read some of the comments them on social media. So um, some, somebody said, uh, Miki Dahl said, the only apology us Jamaicans should accept is them physically going to St. Elizabeth and other affected parishes and using their many resources to help. While they're at it, invite their rich construction friends to help rebuild and renovate homes that have been destroyed. Another person also shared that the Azan Supercenter turned off the option to comment on their stuff over Instagram. 
Um, another one said, oh, this PR cleanup was swift. When I checked her profile five hours ago, there were tons of videos about her being Jamaican and she had Jamaican in her bio. Now those videos are deleted, removed it from her bio, and now she's just an American visiting for the summer. So these are the videos that we have just seen that are specially compiled about the reactors and uh, content creators, some from Jamaica and some, and the other one from uh, US uh, talking about this incident. Uh, this has been the video for today. Thank you for staying tuned and always uh, coming back to watch my videos to my returning subscribers. I appreciate I don't take your efforts for granted. If you have not subscribed to this channel or this is your first time on this channel, please do me a favor, consider subscribing and uh, press the bell notification icon so that in case I get to post, you'll be notified. Cheers, guys. See you on the, the next video.